something, Pierce. I can see something in the water. It's a... It's a poor soul adrift in a lifeboat. Captain, can you get any closer? Zenny, can you see them? Are they breathing? Yes, they're still alive. <sighs> Thank you, Zenny. Aight, lads. Help me hoist them in. I know, Captain, but these charts are wrong. There clearly isn't land here. Are you sure the man you brought this from didn't swindle you? Well, you read the blatant map then. There's nothing to orient us, Captain. Between the fog and our compass being smashed, I couldn't find land if me arse was on it. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, good morning, Cappy. Sorry you had to hear that. I... Whoa, whoa, calm yourself. You're safe here on the gull. There you are. Look like you've been through quite the ordeal. I, you're on a pirate ship. Jolly Roger give this away, did he? Mm, no worries. You're safe here. We'll even have our doctor check you out. Don't mind his face, none. Scars make him look tough, but he's a wee teddy once you know him. Can you stand? That's all right. No need to strain yourself. I'll help you sit. Yep. Put your arms round my neck. And... <clears throat> yep. There you go. Lean against the post. So, uh... Guppy. What happened to get you on that glorified raft? They sent you adrift because of your health? You poor thing. What brought you to sea? The gem trade. Well, could we be meeting on these circumstances then? We are pirates after all. Well, if you want us to bring us to port, just tell us where and we'll make sure you get there safely. And if you're feeling like joining our little crew, we'll be happy to have you. I'm Marta. Nice to meet you formally, then. I'll show you around the gull. She's a beauty. This is the main deck. The lad swabbing it's Taylor, and Josie's up there mending the sail. Yeah. A right pretty purple, I think. Thank you for noticing. We raided Royal Fabric Imports. Can't find replacements, so we repair them ourselves. Yes. Keen observation. You'll hear lots of accents from the Opal Coast. That's where the captain and the gull's from. And there's the captain up there, Captain Sabras Pierce at the whale. So, what port can we take you to? What... What do you mean? You aren't sure you can go back? Well, why not? You may never be able to do what you used to. Well, maybe you can't. But that doesn't mean that you can't go back. Hey, now. I'll have none of that. I won't put you back on that dinghy adrift, and that's final. A person is valuable regardless of how much they can do. No one but you decides your value, you hear? What if your stank never comes back? Look around the ship. The boy polishing the cannons was sick as a child, and he had such a high favor, he went deaf. The cannons don't bother him none. Zenny, a resident mermaid, taught a mermaid sign. Taught the rest of the crew too. He's a good lad, but he's so chatty. He makes my hands tired. And Zenny, she only has one eye. Her depth perception is shot to hell, so she tangles herself in nets, and we have to get her untangled. Our captain rescued her from a merchant ship we took. He's quite taken with her. Call her the blind beauty. <laughs> Our cook has a hook for a hand, and the captain has nostalgia. Wakes up screaming most nights. And look at me legs. One of them's wood. Captain carved it special for me. It's right pretty, I think. Sort of pain to walk in sandal. I, you're right. 
It is, it is a lot easier for me to say. I'm sorry. I know me examples aren't the same. The point I was trying to make is, you aren't alone. I know when I first lost my leg, I was bitter and depressed. And if I could have, if I could have left my bed, I would have had the sea swallow me whole. But Captain never made me feel like I was less than. He helped me to feel like myself again. He gave me a place here. It's okay to mourn what you lost. By all means, do it. But don't go losing yourself in the process. I don't know what the future holds for you. But I'll help how I can. And that starts with a much needed bath, a hot meal, and a mostly comfy bed. <laughs> Am I saying you stink? Well, let's just say being out on the sea didn't make you smell like roses. We'll go below deck. I'll get one of the lads to help you so I can show you around. I still have a chair with wheels on it from when I was recovering. We'll start with the top. Warm water does a body good. We can take our time. Besides, it'll be a while before we find land on account of all this fog. So we may as well. What do you mean, land's close? How do you know? It's foggy. It's like sailing through milk. That kind of bird doesn't stray far from shore. What do you mean? You, that one over there? Hold, hold on. Are you one of those wayfinders? That's brilliant. Captain... Guppy here thinks they see land. <laughs> you know, we could use someone like you. You want to stick around for a while as a navigator? We've been needing one something awful. Welcome to the crew.